It is hot and dry outside and we're in the peak of fire season. We've got some tips from Bend Fire and Rescue on how to keep you and your property safe. Fire danger today is extreme. We've been in extreme for the last week. We have several months to go of hot, dry weather. The potential for fire is very great, not only in the city, but in our surrounding rural areas. To come up with fire danger, we look at a lot of scientific factors as far as how things are gonna burn. And right now, all those scientific factors are at record or above record levels. One of the leading causes of fire in Bend is improperly disposed smoking materials. Those materials such as the, the cigarette butt or the cherry off the end of it landing in combustible vegetation or bark mulch, which is right up against a house. If we can prevent that from getting to the house, we can prevent a lot of house fires during the summer. So we have had a spate of, of home or residential fires here that have been traced to improper disposal of smoking materials. So again, we go back to make sure that you're you know, properly dispose of your ashes. If you do smell smoke around your house, don't hesitate to give us a call. We're more than happy to come out. We not only have trained noses, but we have some thermal imaging cameras so we can really snoop around and try to find the source of that smell. Even the smallest ember from a firework landing into dry brush can quickly escape. Uh, look at Pilot Butte, that was allegedly a, a firework into the dry brush and burned 10 acres in a very short amount of time. That fire got in the juniper trees, flame lengths going up into those major power lines. It was close enough that we started evacuating apartment complexes and shutting down the highway. That fire moved extremely fast. The Bessie Butte fire, which occurred on a Sunday afternoon, um, spread quite rapidly, consumed 50 acres before they were able to get a line around it. The wind was actually blowing from the north, which pushed that fire away from subdivisions into forested land. It actually burned into a prior burn scar. Had the wind been blowing the other direction, it could have been a different outcome. We had another case where people were working in their backyard, smelled smoke, but were unable to find where it was coming from. Uh, uh, several days later, that led to multiple homes being damaged uh, by a fire that started again in, in light bark mulch, spread to combustible construction, and, and went from there. The taxpayers don't care what color the truck is that shows up. They just want someone doing something. And we work really well with the Forest Service and Oregon Department of Forestry and the BLM. Uh, we're all in this together, and we look out for each other, and we help each other out whenever we can.